Hey guys, welcome back to Good Time Hauler Homestead. I had originally planned on doing another pig birth video, but I thought that you guys would kind of be tired of that. So, although I do have the footage of Mabel giving birth to her eight sweet little babies, I decided to show you guys the other things that have been happening around here and just kind of get into all of the other everyday life things that have been going on other than our pigs. If you guys want to see the pig birth, I do have all of the footage and I can make a video. Actually, I already made it, but I can upload it and let you guys see that one. Just let me know in the comments if you actually want to see that birth video or not. It's way different than the other two, but it's pig births. So I just figured you guys would be kind of tired of that. So instead, Let's get into what else has been going on. Well, today we will be starting seeds again. We originally started some seeds in our window greenhouse right before the polar vortex hit. And although the greenhouse did stay kind of warm, it got a little too cold for those seeds to germinate. I'm leaving them in there in hopes that maybe they'll decide to germinate, but we're gonna go ahead and restart more seeds and bring them out here now that all of the crazy cold is gone. Hopefully we don't have any more of that negative 20 degree weather. It's kind of chilly outside, but the weather feels great in here. So putting the seeds out here, I think will be perfect. We're going to get them started in the house in a bunch of tiny 72 cell trays and then we're going to move them out here and we do plan on doing a plant sale later as soon as they germinate and get large enough to sell and we'll either do them at the farm stand or we'll sit on the side of the road somewhere or you can always contact us and come pick them up over here if you're local. Our springs are a little weird, so we probably will not get the chance to have broccoli or cauliflower or all of those great spring crops everybody loves. Scratch that. We totally went and picked up some plant starts and some row covers to try to get some of those brassicas to grow this year. Because here in Arkansas, we go from negative 20 degrees to 80 degrees in a week. Seriously, y'all, that totally happened. And because our springs are so wild and warm, the spring crops don't really do so well. But we will be planting them for fall crops. Until then, it's going to be all of those great herbs and summer crops. And I mean, tomato heaven, y'all. Last year we did 72 tomato plants. This year I'm not exactly sure how many we will do. The year before that, we did probably 72 different pepper plants and so we're going to do a nice variety of both pepper and tomato plants this year as well as a multitude of other varieties of plants in the garden. We're actually going to redo the garden. I know, I know, we continue to redo it but we're going to redo it again this year. We're trying to make the garden fit the most plants that we can. We continue to change it every year so that we can see where's the best fit for certain plants and where we have excess planting space that we didn't use. And last year there was a lot of planting space that we didn't use. So this year we plan to change it up a little bit and make more rows and make it a little easier accessible for some of these plants. And we're excited to see how it all turns out.
guys we got them all planted so we only had six of these trays because the stores only had that many we went to two different stores but we're gonna go back and get some more to plant some more but what we did was uh, plant extra in each one of these cells and what we're going to do when they start to grow big enough, we're going to go ahead and separate them out and we're going to get some more cells and let them grow up in their own separate little cells. We actually needed like 14 of these, but they only had six. So when we get the chance to find some more, then we'll go ahead and grab those and then we'll be able to transfer those plants over to their own little cells. And then we have we have these larger pots that we will up pot them into whenever they get too big for these little cells. And then if we have to transplant even further up because the weather or anything like that, then we will get some larger pots for that. But for now, we've got a lot of plants done. Constructing the garden to redo it a completely different way this year. That is all for today so as always if you like this video give us a big thumbs up subscribe down below and we'll see you guys on the next one bye guys